My name is Tex Deaton. Some people call me Preacher Tex. Some people call me Tex. <laughs> I was first diagnosed as being borderline diabetic back several years ago. I became a full-fledged type 2 diabetic. That became a part of my life. I had to start watching what I was eating. I got this letter from my insurance company saying that I was going to be enrolled in a program with a health coach. My first attitude about it was waste of time. Then a few days later, I got a call from my health coach. My passion really is seeing our participants meet the goals that they have set for themselves. Mr. Dean and I kind of developed a rapport during the onboarding process. The onboarding call includes what they can expect from us here at Phillips. The health coaching program, the monitoring that comes with our program, the supplies that automatically ship, we explain that in detail to them. With Mr. Deaton, I did explain the benefits of health coaching. He seemed interested, so we went ahead and signed him up. As the weeks and months went by, I've gotten more acquainted and better adjusted, and I really appreciate her expertise, her suggestions, her coaching. So in regards to nutrition and some of the things that we talk about on our calls, we want our participants to enjoy their food. So in that case, we talk about a proper portion size for some of those treats. I could eat my weight <laughs> in coconut cake. For instance, homecoming at church, this lady makes the best coconut cake. <laughs> So I did indulge in just a small portion of a piece, not, a, not even a whole slice. I was speaking with Tets one day and I reminded him to test with his blood glucose meter. And he was surprised because he said he had been using it. I asked, have you been waiting about a minute after you received the reading before you removed the test strip? And through talking with Tina, I come to realize that I was taking the strip out too quickly before the data had a chance to get recorded. Mr. Deaton has reached out when he hasn't felt his best and had readings that were either below normal or above normal. And we would walk him through action steps to take to improve the reading that he had received. So it was through Tina's help that after a couple of episodes where my blood sugar really went low in the night, I would wake up jittery, sweaty, after talking with her a few times about this, she suggested that before I go to bed that I maybe eat a light snack. With that, I found that it kind of levels my sugar out during the night and it doesn't have those lows. We have a very important role as health coaches. We are the advocate for our participants. When they have questions, they can come to us at any time and call us. When we see that we haven't gotten readings in a while, we want to check in and find out why. If there is something else on their mind that day, then we talk about what they want to talk about. So we meet them where they are. And I realized right away that Tina not only has good instruction and good ability of speaking, but she's also a good listener. Over the two and a half years that I've been a part of the program, I feel like my health is much better today, but with all this instruction, with all the help, if I don't pay attention, if I don't apply it to my heart, if I don't apply it to my body and to my life, I'm the one that pays the price because my health is not going to be what it could be. That's a great lesson that I've learned in these 83 years. I won't say that I have learned. I'm learning. Oh, Lord, I can't picture me without you.